Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today we got something special. Uh, lighting's not that very good because I'm in my kitchen. I'm not doing this in the daytime. We're doing kind of this in the night, and we're going to talk a little bit about this sucker. So this is a Samson Family Hub Bridge. So this is like the latest one that just came out. It's from Samson. There's also two types of uh, bridge. There's a Connor depth and a standard depth. So we're going to talk about those two. Uh, what's the difference? And we're going to put a little bit of uh, details on the corner so you guys can see exactly if you guys need to decide something like this. And we're going to talk about the bad things about the fridge and the good things about the fridge. Before we continue doing more videos like this, I just want to tell you guys that 90% of my viewers are not subscribers. Uh, I really need assistance here just for you guys to come on and subscribe and hit the like button. So we're going to start with the with the fridge, the inside the fridge, and then we're going to go out on the outside, and then we're going to also use the phone. So yes. All right. So we're going to talk about the fridge first of all. Uh, there's a couple things that you need to know first, all right, prior to buying one of these. So first of all, it does come with the French doors, two French doors. If you can see, my model Toby is demonstrating the two French door. Uh, on the actual fridge itself, there's a, a, a part that you got to go in here. I'm going to see if I can find it. Here it is. So this is very important right here. I'm going to go into it. If you guys see it, it pops out. Now, right now, currently, my it's 37 um, on the top, zero. And then this also could convert into another freezer. Right now, I don't have it converted into a freezer. I have it as a fridge because I got plenty of freezer room here. Now, I do have a, a fridge right now, but it could be converted into a freezer. Um, this is the freezer. And if you guys can see, there's a lot of room for the freezer. And there's also these extra panels out here that you could buy more wine racks or racks themselves. Uh, plenty of space in here on the bottom. Plenty of space. This could be removed and added to the top so you could give you more space in case you buy the turkey or something else. Um, side of it, there's a couple of racks. These things are mobile too. You could add more another one. You could buy another one if you want. Um, this is a free, they're for a freezer, but you could interchange these. These could go into any other units itself. So like I said, I have the two of them. These are interchangeable. You could take those off from this way and put them on this side. And they're interchangeable. You guys can see that. There's plenty of room in here. Um, still new fridge. Light. It's an LED light in the back and there's one here too. So um, one light bulb. There's nothing and there's another one in the bottom I guess. It's all the way to the bottom but my I got a bag blocking it of course in here if you guys can see it. And now here's a fridge. It's telling you um, close close and door open so we're gonna close it and look what it's gonna do all right so it lost heat and suddenly it's gonna do the draft to see that air it starts cycling all this wind i'm gonna open it real quick so you guys can see what i'm talking about but see that there we go it's fogging up now so it's working now we're gonna take it to the top two doors all right top two doors i know i got a lot of stuff in here so here there's a rack in here. Not that much you can fit in here, but sodas, cans, and all sorts of things in here. Also, this one is kind of a useless little rack in space, you know, so it's not that much space. Kind of a useless space in here. Uh, you get to the top, you get more space, of course. Here's the ice machine. It actually drips in here. This one is made for um, 10 pounds of ice, and it does it really quick and fast. I guess I put my bread in the fridge. <laughs> now, on this particular system, you don't need a filter. It, it filters itself out through the system and it has a whole new tech in here that it, it cools off very it, it balances all the air um these things could be changed for meats too on the front in the front panel but right now we have fruits and vegetables in here this is very important this is not a storage area this is actually the filter that you input in here and you take it off and you open it up now here we have dali meats uh, we set that up in there uh, you got a couple of LED lights. One, two, three, and four. There's nothing in the back. Now, uh, this part, particular part, is really deep. I, I can just barely touch this, and my hand is all the way in here. So it's really deep in here. I like this. This part, let me move my tortillas here. And the eggs are here. Put these suckers on the top so I can show you guys something in. So you get a lot of liquids, longer liquids, and this falls in there folds in here so you can have it folded in here and then uh, this sticks out here 
it's very stable. You could change this, you could add it and it locks in if you wanna lock it in here, if you guys see it. Uh, it's up to you, whatever degrees you wanna put in on there, you move it. There's a couple of items, these two can be moved, raised higher or lower. Uh, the side panel on this one, this one you could actually fit a gallon of, of milk in here. So, but I, I like to put the gallon in front of it. Um, my spices, my sauces in here. Um, normally I don't put water, I put some sodas or something like that in there, but today we're doing that. So we're gonna close the fridge out and we're gonna talk about the front. All right, so we're gonna demo the ice right now. First about water here. The water is all the way to the back. You have to push it to the back and it gets water. That's regular water. But, uh, you can't even set your cup in here. This is what I don't like. There's no filter, no nothing like that. Ice will be the top one. There's a second layer. So right now I'm basically on ice. Ice. This is not crushed ice, all right? Now we're gonna change it to crushed ice in here. See how it changes to crushed ice? Now we're gonna do crushed ice. Now you can see it, it's crushing the ice, and there is LED lights on the top of it. And there's your crushed ice. So we're gonna change it back to regular cubes, just a touch of button. Now, I forgot to mention something very important on this fridge, all right? So it's fingerprint stainless, you know, but you can still see some fingerprints. I don't think it's 100%, but the best thing, this is the best thing about this fridge I like. Something so simple, something so basic, Magnets. You can actually, it's magnetized now. You can actually paste things in here. I like about this. It has access to magnets now. I like about that. That's a great feature I like. Not all the fridge comes like that if they're stainless. And the screen is pretty, pretty large if you guys see it. It starts, I'm, I'm gonna try to do it this angle so you guys can see a better uh, way of the, of the whole fridge. So right now, uh, you, you can customize everything. So let me, let me show you guys. Um, here's a family pictures, couple of family pictures we have in here. Um, we can put sticky tab messages. You could add every every single page. It's just like a joy phone, right? You could you go manipulate and you could change things and you go modify things. So right here, we have a couple of great things I like about it. So I do have a ring and I did install the ring in here. So before you do that, there's a lot of things you need to know about first. You need to create a Samsung account prior to setting up this phone this whole system. There's a couple of things that you're gonna to need to know. Once you set up an account, you have to create login accounts in the system and you have to give it permission to certain things. As you can see, I do have my ring in here. I'm gonna do a live event. And when it rings, this thing activates automatically and it tells me there's somebody out there. I could talk to them, I could, I could mute them, I could do all sorts of things in here. It's just like in the phone but it's a different angle here, which my, my ring is connected to it. So right now we're gonna hang up, we're gonna continue on. Calendars, basic calendars, you could connect your Google Calendar or Yahoo Calendar, but I don't wanna connect any of my, my business in, involved in this thing, so I created a separate account just for this system. So here we go. My wife actually made a couple notes here, and she actually sent them via the internet through her phone. So she wasn't even here when she sent this message. It has best things that you guys need, you know, it's Pandora, Amazon, recipes, timers, all sorts of things. And we're gonna go into a little bit more. There's a couple of things I wanna show you right here in the smart view. See the smart view? I'm gonna hit the smart view, right? Because I did this earlier, it's gonna connect properly. So right now I'm just gonna go watch TV. And this is gonna connect to my mirror to my Samsung TV. Let me put the volume down so. So right now, if you're sitting down near the TV, if you're sitting near the counter and you wanna watch your football games, it's mirroring the freaking TV. Everything that's on the TV over there is bringing it here. But prior to that, it has to be a Samsung product. It cannot be just any product. It has to be compatible. It has to be a, a mirror cap capability. So that's another thing you gotta remember. So let's get out of here. Let's go hit the back button. Of course, a couple notes. This is my favorite. So we're just gonna hit this. I wanna try to mute it as much as was possible. So I'm just gonna hit Pandora right now. Okay, that's it. Just a couple seconds because I don't wanna get monetized. We're just gonna show you it plays Pandora. The speakers are super loud here. And 
I, I didn't even push it higher enough, you know, it's just one of those things that I, I just tend to keep it low. Um, this is a great feature here. I like this. We could come back and add notes here and say, um, happy B day. If you want to do a little note here, change markers, highlighter, do whatever you want, change the colors. It has great colors, see? You could just manipulate the whole thing, you could save it. And then on the top, you could discard it. You could type messages. Um, tree, simple. Voice recording, tech, voice recording. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. So you could add a lot of things, you could change, you could modify your things here to make other apps come up and if you don't have pandora it does have spotify if you want to see the news you could have the news pop up there's a lot of great things you can do i haven't even got into more in depth on this because it's just like i haven't had the time i've just been more concentrating on other stuff but you guys know that it has a signal for bluetooth so that means you can connect your phone directly to this system and it could play your music directly here if you don't want to use any of the pandora or spotify systems you could use any of that stuff in here. So that's another great feature I like about it. So there are a couple cameras here. There's three cameras, if you see it. One, two, and three. There's three cameras. That's what sets to see inside the fridge. Now, the view inside, I'm gonna hit the view inside. This is what currently is inside here. You could mark anything you want and to you put a date on it. To get rid of it to replace a memo or something you could like i'm running out of milk here but i got another milk carton in there another milk gallon um some leftover food uh you know you could just do all sorts of things on here it, I, I haven't gotten into more in depth in this but it's one of the things i've been working on trying to like learn this whole thing but it's just time consuming as it is now another great thing shopping list you can put your shopping list deals you could get deals and this is like it kind of looks like in the local areas and it finds a couple of discounts on meat apples and all sorts of things which is great you know if you're going to make yourself a list now on top of it they do have the settings these are your profiles we have a couple of profiles in here so anybody of these people could come back go update the system they have phone access to update pictures and put and put galleries in here and change it down the line all right let's talk a little bit about the details about the fridge first of all i like about the monitors that's a plus you know water features okay now my only concern is that there's this little indentation here in the bottom that's to capture the water and it stays there you got to clean it up once in a while like right now you see that water it's not going to go anywhere there's no cover there's no capturing of water it's like basically you got to actually go in there and clean it up yourself i didn't like that about the fridge so that's one thing i didn't like about it other stuff it took me a while so this is a standard fridge but if you guys can see the top it's missing let me see if i could bring it to the top it's missing a big gap because i had to remove my wine rack i had up there because this was actually taller than my last fridge. It was 70 point, 71.8, I believe it is, of inches taller. So there was a couple of inches taller. Now, another great thing, when I purchased the fridge, I didn't know about this. So I'm gonna show you guys. In here, on top, I'm gonna show you here on the top, there is a reset button here. And when I got the fridge, it didn't wanna work. So you had to go in there and reset the thing. Uh, I had a lot of issues with it at the beginning because I thought it was me not connecting the connecting the cables properly right on the top and the cables are on the other side It's actually in here. You have to remove some screws. I'm not sure if you guys can see remove some screws take it off There's a blue cable that's not connected to anything. I thought it was missing something so <laughs> I ended up resetting this and it came back to normal. That's one thing I didn't like about the fridge. It kind of scared me at first, you know. I was, I was a little concerned if, if I did something wrong or if it wasn't connected right. Okay, now we're gonna go in depth on the actual phone application. What's available, and I'm gonna have a little side panel and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it so you guys can see more features on it. That it's just not just the uh, fridge. It's an actual interface with the fridge with the sound especially if you have a samsung phone you could interface with it but also works with a, with a regular apple phone so we're going to take a look at that and if you have any questions hit me up 
All right, so here we go. We're gonna talk about the application first itself. You're gonna have to download the application and whatever's your default um, email, it's gonna require it. So let's go ahead and go into the app and it's called Family Hub. You go in here. On the Family Hub, you have to set this up with your phone, of course, and you gotta send a code to the actual fridge to identify that it's you on the actual phone. And that's how it identifies the user. Now, there's a couple features you can do in here and you can manipulate and change it from here within this this system too so right now we're just going to go and see a couple of things we're going to see inf inside the fridge and this takes a picture every eight seconds and if you could go back in history in here you guys see the bottom part every eight seconds it takes a picture so just to let you know full list you could add your full list in here you could check off things while you're in the fridge you could even do this from anywhere and look inside the fridge from the store uh, if you're driving somewhere uh, it has a lot of great things to do list you could add your to-do list who's gonna do the list it could be me it could be dad Athena mom it could be one of us doing the inside uh, let me see deals like I said it has your local deals similar to the what a fridge has it has all the local deals that we could find here and memos you could write memos in here and like for example dinner baked tilapia with asparagus and i rice so that was done today uh, upload pictures you can upload your pictures in here so you could have many pictures in here upload it um, whiteboard this is what you want to draw this is how i drew it from here so if i ever want to do another whiteboard i could just say picture and i could say hello and I can save it and I can record my message and all sorts of things in here and it will send it to the fridge itself. So that's another great thing. Discard. We're going to discard this message, of course. We're going to go back out keep continue talking about the fridge. Uh, memos will show up to do list, shopping list, and then it gives you a little task rundown of everything that we uh, this is kind of like an outline of everything today. You'll see different things changing here. Uh, goals of day, eat fruit, vegetables, exercise for 20 minutes, read it for 20 minutes. So that's for my kid um, and for us too, actually. So uh, a couple of things that you could do, smart things. You could uh, whiteboard. I talked about recipes, deals, view inside the fridge, shopping list, to-do list, calendar. This, this is where you could add different birthdays. You could add items, uh, upload pictures and memo. That's pretty much what you have. Uh, anything else, it's profile settings and help us. That's about it. But this is a quick rundown on the app that's needed to talk to the actual fridge. So great, great little application. I mean, it's, you don't get everything the fridge does, but you get some of it. So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.